Monday, bank holiday, and today I'm planning to do absolutely nothing. Why can't we have three days off every single week? On my way to the inbounder, as usual, I'm fashionably late, but then the, the weather is so nice, the summer is finally here. Wednesday, the day after the inbound conference and before you ask me, I'm gonna tell you I truly and utterly enjoyed it Great talks by great speakers like Gianluca Fiorelli Olga Andrienko Kirsty Hills Jono Alderson. There's actually a million opportunities to improve performance, um, and I can find matters and use this section is much more important than how you score or how many images or what number you get. Um, ignore everything that the tools tell you, use your intuition, monitor users, and go with gut feel, make things feel faster. Don't neglect the back end and servers and um, perform subscription things because the landscape is changing. Um, as kind of talk about Kelvin Newman was there. I'll try and link all their slides in the description below. You know, there are, there are those conferences where you go, you sit and you drink coffee all day. And there are those conferences like the Inbounder, where in a very sh short amount of time, you get so much knowledge. One com common uh, tip everybody was giving, know your customers understand your customers before you start optimizing your website and one really easy tweak that actually just changed everything so um, if I just say, hey, how are you doing? And then if I say, hey, how are you doing, Kelvin? Then Kelvin looks at me. And then so it's just, it's just the whole thing. Mentioning people's names is just amazing. And it just makes a whole a lot of difference. So I suggest that you really do that when you answer to that question, someone. And I always use their first name. And um, we always get a before I forget, Gian Lucas Fiorelli talk alone was worth going to this event. If we are present and we are working in a, also in a geographic uh, uh, geolocalization and needs stuff in the piece, well, we have to start thinking better on how to create and optimize our website. Maybe this is also the reason why Google last year launched rollout the Boston update, which was focused on all page, all site uh, optimization for local search. Friday, and I'm a little bit ill. One of those moments when sickness grounds you to your bed, but I'm still working. Always do your best of course your best gonna be different from moment to moment it will be different from when you're healthy opposed to when you're sick but under any circumstance do your best and you're gonna avoid a lot of self-judgment and regret in the future In about 10 minutes, I'm going to be talking to Mr. Francois Cole, 
the CEO of Onco. We're going to be talking about technical SEO and something that I really, really want everybody to understand. Orphan pages. Website. So there are uh, orphan pages are pages that are outside your uh, internal linking structure. Exactly, exactly. This is what I always try to explain to people. So, ba so basically, if they're not linked from anywhere, they will definitely have an effect on our SEO. What do you think is the effect of orphan pages on SEO? Well, um, Let, let's the, talk about it because this is the, actually the most important part of the understanding of what orphan pages are. <laughs> Yeah, um, you know, um, uh, we, we just talked about the, the, the call budget and, um, and you need to optimize uh, and, and to get assured that uh, Google is fetching your priority pages. And um, as you have priority pages, um, top priority pages, you, you, you want them to get uh, a lot of link juice because you want them to rank. And you, you want Google to call them uh, very frequently. Uh, so um, uh, you, you want Google to um, consider your uh, money pages, uh, your most valuable pages. So um, uh, this is a very big, big uh, issue to have orphan pages because you are uh, wasting Google resources on pages that are obviously uh, unvaluable because if they are often there, there might be a good reason. Uh, Just had a chat with uh, Francois from Onco, and if I have to summarize our conversation, not everybody is cut out to be a good web developer. Not everybody can write compelling copy. That being said, content professionals have to understand that the success of their online projects is partially dependent on good technical execution. You have to gain a basic knowledge of technical SEO in order to avoid costly mistakes in the future. Guys, what an exciting week. It started slow with a bank holiday and then just exploded with the inbound conference. Went down again a little bit as I was sick, but then exploded again with online interviews and webinars. Next week, I'm gonna be temporarily redirected to Eastern Europe as I'm visiting the country of Bulgaria but, but you do subscribe to this channel and do come back here next Sunday cause you've got the problems and I've got the solutions